day everyone welcome to math with teacher justin on today's topic we're going to discuss laws of exponent quotient rule quotient rule will only apply if and only if the operation is division and then they have the same base so our process is we're going to copy the base and then subtract the exponent ang pag subtract natin will be the numerator the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So, ganun lagi. Nating sabihin na the exponent of the dividend minus the exponent of the divisor. So, ganun yung gagawin natin if we are going to deal with exponents using quotient rule. I'm going to show you why do we subtract the exponent. Why not divide it as um, the same as the coefficients. Papakita ko sa inyo kung paano or bakit subtraction yung ginagamit sa exponent at hindi division. So, let's have an example. We have x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 2. Now, let's write it in a fraction form. Pwede naman natin siyang isulat as fraction form. Okay? x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 2. Now, we can also expand this. Pwede natin i-expand ang x raised to 5. Now, let's have the expanded version of x raised to 5. So, here we have 5x. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we divide it. So, we have x times x. Now, applying the rules in simplifying or dividing fractions, okay, we can simply cancel out common factors by dividing it by itself. So, x times x is equal to 1. So, we can just simply cancel, cancel. Now, since wala na tayong makakancel, we can now conclude to our final answer. We have 3 remaining x's in our numerator. Therefore, our answer will be x raised to and that will be our final answer. Okay? Now, if we are going to follow the loss of exponent, we are not going to do this expanded version anymore. Hindi na tayo magka-cancel out. But instead, we will just simply follow the loss of exponent. So, gawin natin yung loss of exponent na quotient rule. So, for quotient rule, sabi sa quotient rule, we can just simply copy the base and subtract the numerator, the exponent of the numerator, and the exponent of the denominator. Okay? So, 5 minus 2, we have x raised to 3, which is the same as this one. Pareho lang. Diba? So, what is the fastest way to solve this? Ito ba? or ito. So, your choice. So, I just showed you how loss of exponent works. And yung loss of exponent, shortcut siya in order for you not to expand it anymore. Okay? Another example. For example, we have x raised to 12 divided by x raised to 7. So, in this case, our operation is division. Therefore, we are going to apply the quotient rule. Knowing that we have the same base, we will just copy the base and then subtract the exponent of the dividend, which is 12, and the exponent of the divisor, which is 7. So, simplify natin. x raised to 12 minus 7, we have x raised to and this will be our final answer. Have, let's have another example. Let's have two or more variables. So we have a raised to 4, b raised to 7, c raised to 2 all over a raised to 2, b raised to 4, and c. We are going to follow the quotient rule. So we are going to copy the bases that are present in our given example. So, we have A, B, and C. 
Then afterwards, we're going to subtract the exponent. So numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So we have 4 sa taas minus 2 b raised to 7 minus 4 and then we have here 2 minus since walang nakasulat dito take note, laging may invisible na 1 pag walang nakasulat na exponent. So minus 1. And then we simplify this. We will have a raised to 2 b raised to 3 and c raised to 1. You can just simply write c. So this is our final answer. For example, we have 12x raised to 4, y raised to 5, all over 3x raised to 3 and y raised to 2. Okay, in this case, we have a numerical coefficient, which is 12 and 3. For our numerator, it is 12. And for our denominator, it is 3. So, ang gagawin lang natin is we are still going to apply the rules in dividing integers. So, 12 divided by 3, that will be 4. Okay? Please simplify the numerical coefficient. Then, we now proceed to our variable. So, the rules for loss of exponent, we will copy the base and then subtract the exponent. So, we are going to copy the base, copy the bases that are present in this given equation or expression. So, we have x and y. Okay? Now, we will subtract the exponent of x which is 4 and minus 3 and then 5 minus 2. Okay? Then we simplify. We will have 4x raised to 1 and y raised to 3. And that will be our final answer. Alam niyo na kung paano mag-simplify ng quotient rule. So, now it's your turn to try this. Practice exercise. Simplify the following expression using quotient rule. So, man, if you need more time, you can pause the video. I'm going to reveal the answer key later. Man, after a few seconds kasi I don't want this to be long. Okay, so I hope Nagets nyo yung topic. Nasagutan nyo na lahat ng items na binigay ko. You can now check if your answers are correct. So here are the answers for our practice exercises. Ayan. So I hope tama at nakuha nyo yung tamang sagot. That's it for today. Goodbye. God bless and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.